All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakar Kodash. The Bible of the Apostle is a great most for teaching us to understand truth according to the Bible well. And peace and blessings to the afflict of the nation of Israel, take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. When again to the Lord's uh, willing and the final life, a lesson titled uh, The Days of Noah. You know, or the days of Noe, right? Uh, uh, the days, you know, as it was when Noah was on the scene, you know, uh, as people were eating and drinking, they were continue on, continue on, you know, as if life was never going to end, as if judgment was never going to come. That's the same spirit, you know, that a lot of, you know, that's the same spirit that's in America today. And a lot of our people... You know, especially two thirds of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are still in, right? And the elect, you know, that haven't come back to the knowledge of what the truth is, you know, they're in that spirit. And that's what, who we do these lessons for, you know, that they may uh, consider their ways and come out, right? And to condemn uh, this uh, wicked and evil world just as uh, Noah did, right? Because we are the modern day Noahs, right? As it tells us here. In uh, Hebrews, right? Let me get this. Hebrews chapter 11, uh, verse 7. By faith, right? By faith, Noah being warned of the Most High. So Noah was warned of Yahweh by Shema Shai, And he believed in the things that, he, that was told of him. You know, that the Heavenly Father was going to bring a flood to that present evil world that he was, uh, that he was in, right? And now we're telling you a flood. Of nuclear destruction, a flood of fire is going to come and consume Babylon the Great. And by faith, you know, as we have been warned by the Apostle it was a great millstone, right? Move with fear, right? It says, by faith, Noah being warned of the Most High, not seen as yet, a thing's not seen of yet, as yet, right? We don't see, you know, we haven't, you know, the, the things that are coming, the, the famine, the impl the the implication of the uh, MOT to the B, which is the C hip, right? Those things are, are not evidently right in our face. We see signs. We, we're hearing things, you know, we're hearing things about them, right? Talks in the news, talks here and there. There's rumors here and there, right? But especially when the apostles and elders first came on the scene in 2007, the men, you know, that uh, that woke up during those times, you know, they, they, they didn't see, you know, the MOT to the B, you know, we should see it being talked about on the news, right? And they, and they what? They still move with fear, right? Prepare the ark to the saving of his house. And right now we're preparing a spiritual ark, right? So when these flood of, you know, of uh, plagues, you know, come upon the world, you know, the famine, the evils, the pestilence, all the way to the nuclear destruction, you know, we be, we'll be able to, 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 to have safety during those times, right? That's the, that's the mindset that those who have faith and believe in the prophecies, prophecies of Yahweh by Shema Masha are going to take. It says, prepare an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, right? So he condemned the world. And that's what we're doing. We're condemning this present and evil world via, you know, bringing out the judgments of Yahweh by Shema Shai upon this place. It says, and became an heir, which an heir is a son of righteousness, which is by faith. So he became a son of righteousness, right? In the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai, which is, you know, by his faith, the faith that he had. You know, Noah had faith to believe you know, that uh, the Heavenly Father was going to bring evils, pestilence, right? And we have to have, you know, uh, well, um, not evils and pestilence, well, the flood, right? And we have to believe that uh, Yahweh by Shema Shai is going to bring evils and pestilence and nuclear destruction upon this present evil world that, as everyone else is just continue on, you know, with gay old time, as if nothing is happening in the world, as if nothing is going to happen. This is St. Luke uh, 17, and I'm going to start at verse, verse 20. And when he was the man of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of the Most High cometh not with observation. 
Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for the kingdom of the Most High is within you. Right? So the kingdom of Yah by Shemal Shai is within us, the believers. Right? We are the kingdom. We make up a Jerusalem. You know, and that show forth through our actions and how we carry ourselves with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we've been given, right? And as the kingdom of heaven is being built, right? This kingdom, Babylon the Great, is being plucked up. You know, it starts to decay all the way until, you know, Yahweh Shai brings the fullness of the kingdom of heaven and takes down our enemies, right? It says, and he's going to come back with a band of angels, the chariots of Israel, you know, a flaming fire, you know, nuclear destruction is going to go off on the same time, you know, burning America up. Right? And he said unto the disciples, the days will come when you will desire to see one of the one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall and ye shall not see it, and they shall say to you, See here or see there, go not after them, nor follow them, for as the lightning I'm gonna jump down to verse uh twenty twenty nine, right? Actually uh Verse 26, it says, And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Right? And that's what we see um, happening today. You know, people are in the spirit of just eating and drinking. You know, continue on their lives with their day-to-day -day activities as if, you know, uh, martial law troops are not about to uh, besiege America, as if, you know, uh, people aren't about to start getting uh, sent away into these uh, these camps, right? These uh, re uh, rehabilitation uh, centers, if I'm saying that right. Rehabilitation? Re rehabilitated? You know, it's lucky, brothers. Rehabilitation centers, I believe that's how you say it. But brothers know, you know, where they uh you know they're gonna either you know you're gonna be offered that C hip. It says they did eat, they drank, they married wives and were given in marriage, right? They married wives, right? Content to, to you know, they were in the sphere of the building families, building uh, you know, wealth, generational wealth, right? Same sphere that's here today. It says, until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, right? Lot, Sodom, and Gomorrah. They did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed, right? And not only were they living their lives, you know, as if nothing uh, was going to, you know, happen in the world. No, there was a heavy uh, spirit of wickedness, you know, going on in the world during that time. You know, there was a heavy level of wickedness that was going on, especially in days of Noah. We understand what was going on in Lot, you know. Uh, the Lord said in, in here in uh, Genesis 18 and 20. And the Lord said because of the cry, right, which is their, their pride, their boast against the ways of the Shai, the ways of order, the ways of righteousness, right? And the Lord said because of the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great. And because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether... They have done all together according to the cry of it, which has come unto me. And if, and if it not, I will know, right? So, Yahweh Shema Washai, you know, he, you know, he, he seen the wickedness that, that was in Sodom and Gomorrah, that it was great, right? Uh... And just uh, jump jumping down to uh, Genesis 19 and, and uh, 12. And the men said unto Lot, Has thou here any besides, any besides son-in-law and 
and, and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou hast in this city bring them out of this place for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the Lord I'm sorry before the face of the Lord and the Lord has sent us to destroy it you see so the Lord sent forth his angels to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah Right, and the inhabitants of that place didn't know what was going on. They didn't know, you know, it came upon them as a thief in the night, right? Just like these average day Americans, they don't know what's going on. They don't know that Yahweh by Shema Shai is, is preparing uh, provisions for his elect, that he has a, a plan to roll on this place, Babylon the Great, and to deliver, you know, his, his believers. It says, And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place. You know, that's what we're telling our people. Arise up. You know, get, get your minds out of this place. You know, spiritually depart. It says, For the Lord will destroy this city. Right? We're telling our people that America, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed. But he seen as one that mocketh unto his sons-in-law. Right? So everyone, you know, uh, it looks at as if we're crazy, right? As if we're, uh, you know, drunk, you know, don't, don't know what the hell is going on. Bums on the streets, you know, angry with society, you know, but here it is. We, we've been given the mysteries of Yahweh by Shema and all, you know, all we're doing is warning you, but our people are looking at us as if we're talking crazy, you know, and those sons-in-laws of Lot were destroyed in Sodom and Gomorrah. Because they didn't take heed to the warning of Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is uh, Genesis 6 and um, 6, I'm sorry, verse 5. And the Most High saw that the, that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually, right? And it repented the, the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, that he had made man on earth. And it grieved him at his heart. And he said, and Yahweh said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and creeping things, and the fowls of the air for repentance of me that I have made them, right? But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. You see, so we have to, you know, understand that America and everything that is here is going to be destroyed. Everything is going to be burnt up, right? Because they're, uh, because of their their wickedness that they're uh, committing down here upon the earth, right? And understanding that America is going to be destroyed, right? We have to uh, be in the spirit of, you know, that Noah was in, you know, being obedient to the ways of Yah by Shema Shai, you know. Trying to uh, stay on the path of righteousness, right? As we've been given our grace period. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and um, 11. Yep, uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. I'm reading down to verse 14. It says, because sentence against an evil work, right? Because you, you, a sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, right? Everyone has the, the liberties and freedom, you know, which we are as a nation under grace, right? And a lot of our people, you know, are following the ways of the heathens, you know, to continue on in their wickedness instead of, you know, coming out and repenting. You know, and the heathens, you know, they don't care if you commit wickedness. They're, they're down with it. That's the way of their society. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in, in them to do evil, right? It says that it, it, it's fully set in their minds that everything's okay. They can continue on their wickedness. It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. Why? Because he had the account of, of Noah. He had the accounts of, of, of what happened, you know, with Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah, right? He, he had the scrolls to, to go into and, and understand that it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh by Shema Shai. But it shall not be well with the wicked, Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not 
before the Most High. It shouldn't be well with the wicked of our people. It says, verse 14, you know, there is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there be just men, right? There be righteous men unto whom it happeneth according to the work of the wicked, right? Because here in the society, if you depart from evil, you know, you have any, uh, you know, moral code, what? You get canceled, you know? You get persecuted, right? People come up against you. People scoff at you, right? And, and, and it ought not be so in the right society, but this is a wicked kingdom. It says, There be just men according unto whom it happeneth according to the works of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men, right? You got these wicked men, the earth, you know, look, your little wanes, right? You wicked, the wicked celebrities, right? The wicked, uh, you know, Jake, you know. Who, who, you know, the, the wicked people in the society to whom it happeneth according to the work of the righteous, I have said that this also is vanity. So everything is turned upside down. You know, true judgment is not going forth in the earth as Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. He was vexed with the things that were going on. He was suffering, right? And, and during the times... A Sodom and Gomorrah, just like as we are suffering, we are bearing our cross. You see, and Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, it, it has told us to go out and preach His word and to tell our people to repent. This is um, Sirach five and one. Set not thine heart upon thy goods. And say not, I have enough for my life, right? So set not thy mind upon the goods, upon your possessions. And say not, I have enough for my life. You know, you cannot think, you know, oh, it's content. America's not that bad. You know, it's okay. You know, I, you know, I can, you know, it, it ain't, you know, you guys on the streets, you guys saying America's bad. It really ain't that bad. You know, look at all the stuff I got. Look at all my substance, right? I'm good. It says, follow not thine own mind and set in thy strength to walk in the ways of thine heart, right? You're putting all this time and energy to make it here in America, to follow the American dream, right? Instead of repenting and following the ways of the Lord and humbling yourself in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And say not, who shall control me for my works, Right? For the Lord shall surely revenge thy pride. The Lord is going to pay you back for being so proud. You know, after you heard the warning, you know, you're, 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 you're held accountable, right? And this warning is, is going out week in and week out. Every day on the, every day on the YouTube, right? And watch, the Lord is going to cause, you know, when, when Esau rolls, it's going to be a great controversy of who, who's telling the truth, who's telling lies, you see? And you can deceive some of the people, you know, all the time, right? And that's two-thirds of our people, right? And you can deceive all the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time, right? And and, and there's a point in time that Yahweh Shem Shai has where the elect are not going to be uh, uh, fooled by Esau, Edom, and his lies anymore, you know? And they're going to they're gonna repent. They're going to come back. Right, and as you know, the elect are you know being completely sealed. You know that nuclear destruction is going to come. Right, so you know the the Lord is you know people are going to be uh, you know uh, you know believing all the way to when the Lord comes back. Right, you know, but you don't want to be you know you if you get in this word now, you want to take your opportunity now. You know, At, you know this case by case scenarios, right. It says, because the Heavenly Father, you know, he's looking at the inward man, right? You can't fool y'all by Shema Shai. It says, say not, I have sinned, and what harm happeneth unto me? For the Lord is long-suffering, he will in no wise let thee go, right? So y'all by Shema Shai is not going to let you go. It says, concerning propi propitiation, right? Which is, you know, the, another word for that, sacrifice. Be not without fear to add sin unto sin, right? You know, just going on, oh, it's okay, you know. Yeah, you know, I sinned here, you know, not even asking for forgiveness, you know, just, you know, it's okay if I sin again, right? It says, and say not, 
his mercy is great. He be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Yes, these Christians say God is love. You know, God, you know, God, God knows my heart, right? So, you know, we, we are not to say that his mercy is great. He, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. He's going to sit back and do nothing. He's not going to judge me. For mercy and wrath come from him, right? Mercy and wrath, as we've seen the examples of what happened to Solomon Gomorrah, right? And we've seen the examples of the men, you know, and the few, the few, right? The chosen, they got delivered from those different situations. As during the time of Noah, you know, only eight people got delivered from that flood. During the time of Lot, you had Lot and his two daughters, right? A very few number amongst, you know, uh, you know, you know, uh, innumerable multitude of people that got destroyed, right? So mercy and wrath come from Yah by Shema Shai, and his indignation, his righteous anger rested upon sinners. It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not all from day to day, right? Eating and drinking, right? Being drunk, you know, being married, you know, trying to afford your lives here, you know, can cause you to put the Lord off from day to day. You know, to wait to seek the Lord, to wait to prioritize, you know, serving Yah by Shema Shai. Right? It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not all from day to day. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. When you least expect it, suddenly, you know, they weren't expecting, you know, fire and brimstone to rain down from heaven. You know, the people that were in Sodom and Gomorrah, right, in the neighboring cities. Right? Yeah, and Jake thought it was all sweet and dandy as they saw Noah working. They saw Noah working towards something, building building that ark. And they see us working. They see us out there in the highways and the byways. The Lord told us that we're the sign, you know, for Jerusalem to see, you know, to, to you know, to to, 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 to believe. We we are that sign. You know, I tell you that Matthew sixteen, Isaiah eight, right? Isaiah eleven and eleven. You know, well, Isaiah 11, right now, 11 and 11, but a little down, a few verses down. It says, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And the day of vengeance is fastly approaching, where Yah by Shema Shai is going to judge the wicked of his people and bring salvation, you know, to those who uh, hearken to the word, that repented, right, that became uh, born again, that... Uh, that endured the, their afflictions, right? That endured, you know, uh, the burdens of uh, uh, as a warrior wearing your armor every day of the hour, you know, being protected, constantly doing that which is right, while you have other people uh, doing things the easy way, doing things that are wrong, you know, it, that shouldn't stop us from doing things the right way, which is, you know, following the paths of righteousness and seeking y'all by Shema Shai. But you know, with that, Lord is willing, you're edified. You know, the next I'm going to say, Shalom.